Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be comparing high-end or department store CC creams and I'm going to do a drugstore version as well, but CC creams, if you don't know them, are basically the next generation of BB creams. They're sometimes more refined um, in terms of the cream or the texture or they have more added benefits or they're just really an improved version. There's also ones that actually color correct. so. They turn out white and then as you massage it into your skin, they change color to your skin tone. So there's all types of CC creams out there. There's not one generic type of CC cream, but I guess I would say that they're just an improvement over BB creams. And it's kind of the craze now. I know a lot of people are making fun of it like CC creams, BB creams, uh, ZZ creams, RR creams, I don't know. So I have a couple right here. I'm going to show you what I have here and then I'm going to be doing a first impressions video. So I have a whole haul of CC creams and I thought this first impression video would be great because you can actually tell a lot about a makeup product in a first impression. Even though you might not know its lasting finish or how long it lasts, you kind of know the texture, the coverage, the blendability, all those things in one first impression, at least for me. So I thought I would do a video on that and show you, I guess, kind of my first impressions of each CC cream. Let's start with the first one. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge CC Cream and this is SPF 30 and I actually wanted to try this for a really long time and um, I don't know like let's see what it is. So I'm actually taking the sticker out of each one of them just so it makes it easier and more smooth the video and I guess let's see what it looks on my face. So I'm gonna squeeze a little bit and this is the cream. So I like how it's a bit more yellow based than normal and it has a bit of a peachy undertone as well which is great. It may match my skin tone and it's quite, I don't know, it's very very moisturizing. I can see already a very slick kind of oily finish on top of the product and I'm just going to apply that onto my face. I'm going to do half face and then the other half face um, another CC cream so I can save time. So I'm going to apply it and it's very soft and silky. And this is how I usually apply BB creams and CC creams. I dot them onto my face. And then I use my fingers to blend the product out. There is, already I can see, a light to medium coverage, which is expected I think. Some CC creams have higher coverage. It smells like sunscreen. Hmm. Very light finish and very moisturizing looking. Very similar to a BB cream. <laughs> Not much difference. Kind of like a translucent kind of shiny glowing finish as you can see. Okay, next one I'm going to try is the Biotherm White Detox CC Bright. And this is a color correction smoothing base. Now I've seen the Biotherm stands before and they have a whole selection of these little ones, little guys. And they have different colors like pink and green. I'm a bit confused with this one because I'm not sure whether it's like a CC cream or a white base. It looks just like a moisturizer or sunscreen. It's completely white, as you can see. I think this is more of a makeup base. But anyway, I'll apply it. I won't apply too many dots. I'll look white, I think. I'm not sure how this is going to go, to be honest. I look like I have white measles. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to use my fingers and just blend that in. I'm not, I don't know if it's actually changing color. It might not be. But at least I'm not painting myself white. I really like how it has a very smooth finish. As if you, you know, if you have the makeup primer and as a silicone kind of base to it, it has that feel to it very different from the Clinique one. Very smooth finish. Smells like sunscreen but with a bit of fragrance but not too annoying. I like it a lot actually. It really smooths out your pores and corrects uneven skin tone without making you look like you're wearing a white mask. I mean as you can see it's kind of the same color still. So I don't know if it's actually changing color or if it's just me. I really like it guys. This is weird. Okay, let me see if it changes color. No, it doesn't. But how come on my skin it doesn't look like... 
like I'm covering myself in white paint, you know what I mean? It kind of blurs imperfections. Wow, okay, so basically with this one, right, it's really smooth. Like, I feel that kind of primer, kind of silicone finish, but not too heavy or strong like it can clog my pores. It's just very smooth. Like, my skin feels a lot smoother. I'm going to go ahead and clean up with my favorite makeup wipes. These are Biore wipes, and I use this all the time. And I'm just going to take this off my face, and I'm going to try the next set of CC cream for you. So the next one I'm going to try is the Chanel CC Cream and this is a very popular CC Cream and I don't know, I tried it at the store and I was quite surprised at the smell. I did not like the smell of the CC Cream. So let's try it out. Of course Chanel is very expensive, looks nice, blah blah blah, packaging is beautiful as always, it has a beautiful C. And I'm just going to go ahead and take some. I like how it's more of a yellow base CC cream. It's not like a pink silver tone because I'm obviously quite warm toned. So I need something quite yellow. So it's quite yellow. And I don't know if this is in a color. This is in two, so this is in two zero beige and it's quite yellow, which is great because for me, I'm a quite yellow person. Very creamy in texture. I'm just gonna go ahead and dot the CC cream. When you first smell the CC cream, it smells nice. It smells like a flower. But let's see how, like just like a perfume, I think it changes smell later on. Very, a lot, a lot more high coverage than the other CC creams I've tried just now. Definitely able to cover acne, scarring, and uneven skin tone. So you're looking at just covering blemishes as well. So you're looking at a medium coverage for this one. Medium to high actually, now that I'm looking at this. It has a nice glowy look. Very well done. I really like this. Really like it. It's almost like a foundation, to be honest. Look at that finish. Just want to squeeze a little bit more. It smells okay so far. I don't know why at the store I smelled it. It was horrible. Okay, there we go. So it's starting to change smell. I don't know why it does that, but... Now it smells that really gross, sour smell, like something gone bad, like your makeup gone bad. Yuck. So it actually transforms the smell. So watch out for that. Beautiful finish, beautiful coverage. Look at high to medium coverage. It's almost like a foundation. However, it's very light, very silky, and feels like a CC cream, but covers extremely well, as you can see. So I really like the finish, and I really like the texture. Great coverage, but it smells bad. So the next one I'm going to try is from Origins, and this is the Smarty Plant CC SPF 20. I have 01 light to medium, and I'm just going to apply this onto my face. So I'm going to squeeze it out. Okay, so I squeezed it out, and it actually is a bit watery. Very moisturizing, just like the Clinique CC. It's quite similar. So I'm just going to take that and then just dot it that onto my face. This has a bit of a pinkier undertone con uh, contrasted, contrasted next to the Chanel. And just going to dot that all over. Okay, so I'm going to use my two fingers and I'm going to blend that. Okay, you're looking at light coverage, glowing finish. Smells very mm, like an essential oil. Very nice glow. Almost no coverage though. Doesn't really correct my uneven skin tone very well or definitely not hiding any blemishes. Blends quite well into the skin but extremely sheer, almost like a tinted moisturizer. But you do get that glow which is nice. But you, I mean, Chanel, you have that glow as well, but you have 10 times more coverage, right? What's the difference? To be honest, I like coverage, so I'm not going <laughs> to I'm not gonna lie. Um, overall, this is the Origins CC. Very sheer coverage, quite like a tinted moisturizer. Smells like botanical essential oils. But nice glowing complexion. Blends quite nicely into the skin. 
very sheer. If you have really great skin, this is definitely for you. Okay, so now that all my makeup is gone, the next one is the Lancome Regenerating CC Multi Lift. And this is the Lancome CC Cream. It's Instant Illuminating SPF 20. And I have number two with me. And I'm just going to go ahead again. I might want to take the remaining off. And it comes with a nice pump bottle, even though it's in a tube, which is convenient. And I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze that out. I haven't used this before, remember, so it takes a while to squeeze stuff out. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I already I can see it's more of a yellow tone, but there are gray undertones, which isn't great. I don't like gray. But I'm just going to apply it with my hands. Very smooth, quite drippy in texture. Interesting. Very moisturizing. Definitely not like a cream. Like more of a liquid foundation feeling feel to it. So again, I'm going to dot that in and blend it with my fingers. Alright, so I'm going to use it with my fingers and blend it in. Mm. Correcting under uh, uneven skin tone, yes. Blemishes, no. So you're looking at light to medium. Very oily. Very slick. Ugh. Mmm, <laughs> don't like this too much. It's too oily. I feel like I've just applied a mudslide of oil onto my face. Too oily. It's too oily. Too high shine. Feels oily on my face. Not, not a fan of this one, to be honest. So, that is the Lancome Regenerate Multi Lift. Um, too oily guys. No, I won't, I won't, I won't walk around like this. Like, there's a difference between oily and glowing. Glowing is like this. However, now I'm actually feeling it actually drying out. Oh, that's interesting. Deep first impressions, you know. I'm gonna wait a while. Yeah. Actually, now it's okay. Now it is okay. Actually, now it's okay. For some reason, the oil has disappeared. It was really slick and oily when I applied it onto my face, but now actually, it's uh, more okay. Yeah, it's actually okay, guys. Actually, you're looking at a medium coverage, to be honest, too. Because some of my acne scars have kind of faded over it. It's not bad. I thought I didn't like it. All right, so the last CC cream I'm gonna try out is the Peter Thomas Roth CC cream. And it's anti-aging, sunscreen, complexion corrector, moisturizer, and tint, so it's all in one. And there's a whole ton of vitamin C and collagen in it. So it's really good for you and has all these brightening and moisturizing, uh, help improve the appearance of uneven skin tone and imperfections, fine lines, and wrinkles. So it's quite, quite a dandy one. <laughs> quite a dandy one. So I'm going to take it and I'm just going to squeeze it on, onto my hand. And I already like the color. It's more of a yellow base color, so I'm going to use my fingers, and it's quite thick and creamy, so I'm thinking that it should be probably a high to medium coverage. So I'm going to take my fingers, and I'm just going to dot the area with it. Hmm, it's very creamy. Alright, so I'm going to use my fingers, and I'm just going to rub that in. So yes, it is a high to medium coverage. It's covering my acne scars and my uneven skin tone very well. It's always giving, also giving a very nice glow to my skin. Not too oily. Feels more like a cream than an oil, which is good. And let's see, I can even double it up as a concealer, I think. I'm going to pat that in. Yes, I can. Very good. High to medium coverage. All right. Very nice. I like this a lot. Very nice glow. As you can see, corrects my pores very well and provides high to medium coverage. So that's the Peter Thomas Roth CC Cream. So I guess judging on about all of these CC creams, which one do I like the best? 
In terms of coverage, these two are the winners. So this is the Chanel CC Cream and the Peter Thomas Roth CC Cream. If I were to compare these two, which one is the best, I would go with the Peter Thomas Roth. I do not like the smell of the Chanel CC Cream, I'm sorry, but it actually has very nice complexion. Both of them provide high to medium coverage if you're looking for more coverage out of a CC Cream. In terms of glow, I would say that the Clinique CC Cream and the Origin Smarty Pant CC Cream are the most sheer out of all of them. So if you're just looking for a tinted moisturizer that provides you kind of a glowing complexion without making you look cakey or having a lot of coverage, then you would go with these two, which are the most sheer out of all of them. This one is the Biotherm CC Bright and it's good for correcting uneven skin tone and also providing a subtle matte finish which is nice because a lot of them provide a glowing finish. And I guess the one I didn't really like the most is the Lancome Regenery CC Multi Lift. I think it was just too oily when I'm applying it, even though it does dry out to a nice finish. I love the Peter Thomas Ross CC Cream and the Chanel CC Cream and not too big a fan of these ones because they're too sheer for me. So yeah, I hope you like this video and let me know if you have any requests down below. And I'm also going to do a drugstore version of this one, which is a more kind of Korean kind of CC creams as well. And I will get back to you guys shortly. Bye!